We're at Lesson 2.1, the beginning of Chapter 2, all about how to represent and interpret data. We're going to do problem solving and organize data. We can use the strategy Make a Table to organize data and solve problems. A tally table is a table that uses tally marks to record data. A frequency table uses numbers to record data. A tally mark is a small vertical line. We use one tally mark to represent each item we count. We put them into groups of five. When we make four tally marks, we cross them with a fifth one. Then we can easily count by skip counting fives, five, 10, 15, and count the rest, 16, 17. There's 17 here. The students in Tim's class voted for their favorite ice cream flavor. They organized the data in a tally table. How many more students chose chocolate than strawberry? We look at our tally table. It's titled Favorite Ice Cream Flavor. We see the flavors are chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, and we see how many tally marks are for each flavor. Chocolate has nine. Vanilla has seven, and strawberry has four. So it wants us to find how many more students chose chocolate than strawberry. The first thing we do is ask ourselves, what do we need to find? We need to find the difference between the amount of chocolate and strawberry. And what information do we use? We're going to use the data about favorite flavor in the tally table. How will we use the information? We'll count the tally marks, then put the numbers into a frequency table to compare how many chose chocolate to how many chose strawberry. We counted the tally marks and wrote them into the frequency table. Chocolate was nine, vanilla was seven, and strawberry was four. Because remember, a frequency table uses numbers. The tally table uses tally marks. We compare the number of students who chose strawberry to those who chose chocolate. We find the difference, we subtract. Chocolate was nine, strawberry was four, nine minus four is equal to five. So five more students chose chocolate as their favorite flavor. We will know how many students were asked if we add all the numbers. If we add the nine, plus the seven plus the four, we will know the total number of students that were asked about their favorite ice cream flavor. We know there were 20 students. A frequency table is useful to organize data and easily see results because we see the numbers. A tally table is useful to count data one at a time as it's being collected. The students in Emma's class grew bean plants for a science project. After six weeks, they recorded the plant heights in a tally table measured to the nearest inch. How many fewer bean plants were nine inches tall than seven or eight inches combined? Taking a look at our tally table here, here's height in inches, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we can see the seven inch plants, there were eight of them. The eight inch plants, there were six. The nine inch plants, there were five. And the 10 inch plants, there were seven of them. So what do we need to find? We, we need to find the difference between the amount of seven plus eight inch plants to the nine inch plants. We need to combine the tallies for the seven inch and eight inch and compare that to the nine inch. What information do we need to use? We need to use the data about heights that are in the tally table. How will we use the information? We'll count the tally marks, then put the numbers into a frequency table to compare the amounts. We add the number of seven inch and eight inch plants. We need the number combined. Eight plus six is equal to 14 plants. 
we subtract the number of 9-inch plants, there's 5 of them, to find how many fewer were 9-inch than 7 and 8 inches combined. We're going to do 14 minus the 5, and that's equal to 9 fewer. Because it said the 7 or 8 inches combined, we had to add those totals, and we needed to know how many fewer bean plants were 9 inches, so we subtracted how many were 9 inches from the total of 8 and 6 plants. We can add all the numbers to know how many plants were grown in the class. There were 8 plus 6 plus 5 plus 7. There were 26 plants in all. We know this just by adding the numbers in the frequency table. Another way to find how many fewer bean plants were 9 inches tall than 7 or 8 inches combined is to compare tally marks. We see 5 tally marks for the 9 inches. We can take away 5 tally marks from the row of 7 or 8. We can take the 5 away and count how many are left in the row of 7 and 8. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can see the difference is 9. So we can use a tally table with tally marks or a frequency table with numbers to help us solve problems. Remember, a frequency table is useful to organize data and easily see the results, the numbers. And a tally table is useful to count data one at a time as it's being collected. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you for the next lesson. Bye.